everybody. I'm going to be talking about the fight that we've all been very excited for. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Dustin Poirier. I'm going to talk about some of the things you might want to watch out for, my prediction, and how I think the fight will go. So, of course, it's a classic striker versus grappler matchup. Um, Dustin Poirier has pretty good grappling, but obviously it's not on the level of Khabib's. Poirier's striking, very impressive. He's mm-hmm. a very accurate striker, very powerful. Uh, also a very good counter-puncher. Khabib striking, slowly but surely improving under AKA. Uh, obviously, American Kickboxing Academy, his gym. They're very good at taking grapplers, turning them into pretty good strikers too. For example, Kim Velasquez, Daniel Cormier, Luke Rockhold, who was a great grappler and just his striking came on a whole lot. After he joined AKA. Um, so, yeah, Habib's stri- striking has improved. But, of course, it's not on the level of Poirier's. My personal prediction is that Habib will finish him on the ground, either with a submission or a due to strikes, the TKO. Uh, in the later rounds, round three, round well, round four, round five, maybe. Or, of course, maybe a decision, but I think it will be a stoppage. I think Pari is someone you definitely can't count out in that fight. He's very accurate. He's very powerful, as I've already said. Uh, one of his tendencies is that he plants his feet before he throws a strike, which I think is a negative in this fight for him because, of course, it can lead to him catching Khabib with a lot of power. Obviously, he plants his feet, he winds up and throws heavy strikes, which can be dangerous. But I think when he does plant his feet, he can just be taken down effortlessly from Khabib, as we saw in the Barboza fight. Uh, Barboza is someone who plants his feet to throw that leg kick, which is, of course, his most deadly weapon. And Khabib just wouldn't let that happen. He just matched him down and wouldn't let him plant his feet at all, which is why Barboza couldn't be really effective in that fight. So I see that happening here, very similar sort of thing. Uh, Although with punches, it's not the same as a kick where you have to... It's not the same kind of wind-up. Punches can be snapped shorter and it doesn't require the same kind of control and wind-up. So I do think Poirier will catch him in the fight. I think he could stun him. He could rock him. Of course he could. And I think, you know, it's possible for him to get the upset. He's more than capable. He's looked really impressive in his last few performances. But of course, so is Khabib. He's looked incredible, really. He's looked unbeatable. His grappling, his dominance, the way he imposes his will on people is just something that is unmatched. He can do it against top-level jiu-jitsu fighters, top-level strikers, anyone. His style is a threat to anybody. Poirier, he's very tough. He's got good conditioning. He's an excellent striker. His grappling's good. His takedown defense is really good but I just think Khabib's grappling is just something else really something that Poirier hasn't really faced so I think it's going to give him a big shock and Khabib's conditioning is also really good his cardio is through the roof he can go five hard rounds no problem he also grapples against heavier people so his strength is just incredible his power is really impressive. And as I've already said, his, his striking is coming on a long way. Um, it's it's a fight I'm really looking forward to. But the one I really want to see happen is Tony Ferguson versus Khabib. For me, Ferguson is the person who can beat Khabib. And he's looked really impressive in his last, well, his last 12 fights, I guess you could say. His last 12 wins. A crazy stat is that the last time he lost, women weren't even fighting in MMA, which I think, sorry, not in MMA, in the UFC, which I think is very impressive. Uh, Obviously, Khabib's someone who's went 25 fights undefeated, so that's obviously unmatched. But Ferguson's just looked unbeatable. His cardio is through the roof. I've never really seen him get tired. He strikes in very high volume. Um... And his striking's quite underrated, I think. I think he's quite an intelligent striker now, even though he does very unorthodox things. His grappling is incredible. 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, obviously under Eddie Bravo. Incredible grappling and also very unorthodox. 
So I think he he you know brings a very big threat to Khabib. But I think yeah, that's the fight everybody wants to see. Um, Ferguson Poirier would also be a very good fight, a very interesting fight. Um, but I think also I, I I'd picked Ferguson for that one because I think he can tire him out, he can work him, and get the later finish. Um, but yeah, there's some exciting fights coming up. I just my pick is going to be Khabib uh, to beat Poirier, but I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Poirier got the shock. He got the surprise, which he's done many times in his career as an underdog, and he comes out on top. So I think it, he's someone you don't really want to count out because of his power and his accuracy and his warrior mentality, really. He, he can brawl, and I think he could catch him and get the massive upset because he'll be coming in as a big underdog. But yeah, that's my predictions. I'd like to hear yours down below so you can engage in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you later.